Welcome back to The Drive, guys, everyone. It is my pleasure to be joined by All-NBA performer, three-time All-Star, and the star of Starting Five on Netflix, my guy, DeMontis Sabonis. Domas, what's up, man? How you doing? What's up? How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm great, man. First of all, we're going to dive into Starting Five, but what's this off-season been like for you, man? You had Hollywood premieres and everything. You're on the red carpet. What's it been like for you? Uh, uh, it's been fun, you know, um, kind of. The usual, I keep busy in the, in the summer. If it's national team, going back home, traveling, getting workouts in, you know, and just threw in a red carpet this year. <laughs> All right, so coming up on October 9th, starting five on Netflix drop, it's you, Jimmy Butler, Ant Edwards, LeBron James, and DeMontis Sabonis. I got to go back to the beginning. How the heck did you become a part of this? Like, did they approach you? Because you're more of a, a laid back, quiet kind of guy. Uh, yeah, they came. They approached me right before summer ended, even before uh, training camp. And they asked me if I wanted to do this. Um, obviously, family, me, my wife, everyone's super excited, but also a bit scary, you know, because we're kind of more laid back private. Uh, like, how, how is this going to work? But knowing, obviously, Netflix is a huge production. They did quarterbacks, receiver, the golf show, Formula One. So we obviously knew it was a great opportunity to shine light on Sacramento, the Kings. You know, ever since I got here, we've been doing great things. And, you know, it was it was it's going to be awesome for for the world to see, you know, what's actually going on here. And and I thought we just had to take advantage of it. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, watch it on October 9th. Seeing some clips so far it looks pretty good. Did you have to convince your wife, Shoshana, to, to allow this to happen or was she all on board with this? Oh, she's on board. You know, there was more of me. <laughs> it was more of me. You know, um, we both wanted to, you know, it's just that that little scary part, you know, at first. But one, once we got over that, that hump, it was OK, we're, we're all in. All right. So take me through it, man. How much access did you allow them? I know the basketball side, yeah. but they were at your home, too. Were they on the road with you? How much access did they have? Oh, wow. They had a lot. They were everywhere. Um, <laughs> they had, there was cameras all the time. Wake up cameras in your face following you in the bathroom, you know, trying to trying to get anywhere, anywhere you were, you know, so definitely got some time getting used to. But once we got used to, you know, it was kind of smooth. So have you seen the whole all the all the episodes, all 10 episodes already? Uh, have you seen it? No, we just have the first two episodes at the premiere and that's it. You know, they filmed so much, you know, all, all year, all year long. They filmed so much, you know, they came last year. They were even a part of like 10 practices. They were filming, you know, the whole crew there while we're practicing. So there's a lot that's going to be in there. Uh, at the end of the day, they probably only used 20% of it, you know, but they had to get all the content. So, you know, it was a lot more work on, on our side. <laughs> What's it like seeing yourself on screen like that? I, I know you could watch yourself on yeah. film what, playing basketball, yeah. doing interviews and things like that. But was this a little bit different for you? Yeah, I can definitely uh, <laughs> watch myself playing basketball. But uh, in that theater, I was melting in my chair. <laughs> like, oh, my God, here we go. But, you know, you kind of just... You know, it's it was more the first couple of minutes and then you're like, OK, fine. OK, we can do this. Let's go. Right. And and I know your family's a, a big part of it. Also, your dad, your children as mm -hmm. well. What does it mean to you to, you know, ultimately have these memories that are going to last a lifetime of all you guys? Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, like you said, my dad's a big part of it, too. Um, he's in it. He's speaking. Um, also, you know, my wife, my kids. So. It's cool, you know, to have all this footage of us, you know, it's going to be awesome to look back when we're older and just see everything how we were, you know. So uh, I think it's cool, you know, it kind of shows how a legacy is built, being built, you know, my dad, me, and then hopefully, you know, my, my son can can carry on the, the tradition. Right. What does it mean to you? I mean, you, you're on there with LeBron's a part of it, Tatum, Butler, Ant-Man and yourself. You guys sort of have a bond now, I guess. Uh, what does that mean to you uh, to have the respect of your peers and be on it with those guys? Yeah, you know, the NBA is a brotherhood, so I feel like everyone has that bond already. Um, this kind of maybe made us a bit closer, you know, during the season. Um, we knew every, every time we played against one of those guys, you know, uh, both that whole game was being filmed because, you know, you got both. Both players were mic, so, you know, you definitely saw – you definitely saw everything, you know, so obviously no one knew at the time, but we knew when we were playing against each other that those were the focused games that were that were going to be filmed. So it's definitely cool, you know, to get this experience and um, be able to show Sacramento. All right. So I'm looking up your splits right now. I, I got to see your splits against the Lakers. We know the Kings dominated the Lakers last yeah. season. 
But your stats last year against the Lakers, 18.5 points, 17.5 rebounds, 8.5 assists. Did you go a little extra hard on those guys because you knew it was going to be uh, in the video? Uh, you, yeah, I think you know me by now. Uh, I don't think nothing's going to going to affect me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go once that ball is ready, you know. So uh, I was just being myself and, you know, go, go, going out there and playing hard. Tell me what we're going to see in the in the first episode that comes out October 9th. You got to see it. Yeah. Uh, just give me your critique on, on what you saw in that first video. Uh, it's awesome. You know, the first two episodes, they um, show all the athletes, everyone's life. They're kind of just in, introducing. They're introducing everyone a little bit about their lives, where they grew up. You know, just the first two episodes are basically putting the show out there, which to me is funny because it's just introducing everyone. But I feel like there's so much out there already, and I know how much we film. So I'm like, wow, there's going to be – it feels like it's a lot just the first episodes, but that's only the introduction. Then it gets really deep into it. So I'm just very excited. It's going to be good. It's it's funny. You know, you get to see everyone's personalities, and it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really good. Was there ever a point during filming where you said, all right, fellas, I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Can I get my space? Or I'm trying to, you know, hang with the wife. Like, was there ever a point where you were like, I don't know if I want this film, boys? Uh, it's tough. You know, you, you know me, you know, I'm a trooper. I'm just going to go with whatever it is and make it work. Um, I also have, I've also had uh, my kids were there all the time. So, you know, you kind of forget they're filming and you're in dad mode. You know, you're not going to change or anything. So that's where I feel like, the show is good because it gets everyone's real self. Yeah, yeah, I know that about you. No doubt about that. You know, when you look at it, what are some of the, the moments that, I guess, stand out to you that we might be able to see uh, once this series uh, airs starting October 9th? Uh, the coolest part is that, you know, people think, you know, we're just basketball players or whatever, and you really see behind the scenes how much sacrifice and effort and stuff that's put in that maybe a normal fan might not realize what's going on you know our all our full days are booked we're doing everything we can for the city on our jersey and you kind of see how people juggle family time recovery getting in extra shots um, at the same time having to perform at a high level while all these 20 cameras are following you you know so um i think it's i think it's really cool you know it's you know you, you definitely don't see all this on people's socials instagram you know you don't see that this is the real stuff this is you before you brush your teeth before you get your hair done you know what i mean this is so uh, i think that's the really cool part yeah joined by demontis sabonis sacramento king center and you you mentioned something earlier being able to represent sacramento why is that important to you man uh you know i'm all in i'm all in for the kings you know they've since i got traded here you know they've uh, welcomed me with open arms i've always said that they respect me my family they made us feel like at home so you know since we got here, you know, we've changed kind of the tide of the organization and to put a spotlight on that and let everyone know, you know, not everyone knows we don't get as many TV games or whatever. Well, now we're going to be on TV for a long time, you know, so hopefully people can start to catch on, you know, and know all the effort that everyone in the city puts in. Starting five coming out October 9th, episode one, a 10 part series following uh, some of the biggest names in the NBA. Domas, let me ask you this. What's uh, what are you watching? What kind of shows are you binge watching now or is it just straight focus? Like, what are you guys watching at home now? Uh, we're watching Paw Patrol, Disney. <laughs> uh, the list goes on. Mini Bowtoons. <laughs> I don't really have time to watch my own shows nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's funny you bring that up, man, because I was telling somebody the other day, they're like, Kyle, wh what's the last movie you saw? And yeah. I'm like, I haven't seen an adult movie. I got a 15-year-old son and a 12-year-old yeah. daughter. I haven't seen an, a, a grown-up movie in 15 years, I tell them. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, Frozen and, and like you said, Paw Patrol. Yeah. Uh, that's good stuff, man. That's good. You know, you, you got two kids now, man. And, and the, the thing that I love about, you know, watching you and listening to you is, how important fatherhood fatherhood is uh, for you. What does it mean uh, to be able to have the kids be a part of this and, and still be dad too throughout this whole process? You know, Netflix did a great job of not making things, I don't know, difficult in the sense of like, just be you with your kids. We have the same staff, probably the same crew for 90% of it. So kids mm -hmm. eventually got really friendly. You know, the crew was like another member of our family, you know, so that made it really cool. Cameras came, you know, Tiger was like, oh, it's showtime. He's ready. He's dancing in front of the camera. He's, 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 he's just excited. So like to have that, have those moments see that it made our kids happy, our wife happy, you know? So um, it just 
it made it more special. And now it's obviously all recorded too. So we, we get to keep those as memories. <laughs> Let me ask you this then. You're, you're a Hollywood star now. If you could pick an actor to play you in a movie, I mean, we got the reality part together. Yeah. The movie, who would it be? <laughs> the movie, I have no idea. Let me think. Who do you think, Michael? Yeah. Oh, who I would say. Think, uh, it got to be a heartthrob, though, right? It got to be somebody. Like, who's it? Who's Thor? Chris Hemsworth from Thor. So okay. Like okay. I like that. I yeah. like that. All right, Domas, I know we got to run, man. I appreciate you taking the time out. We'll see you on Media Day. Go check out Starting Five on Netflix, October 9th. Go stream it on that day. I appreciate it, Domas. Thank you. Thanks for having me.